Hi, I'm reviewing Captain Lawrence Beards, their Powder Dreams, and the IPA dry hopped with Amarillo Lupulin Powder, and Azaka, and Ella hops. So pretty interesting combo there. Amarillo, obviously, one of the classic IPA, American IPA hops. Um, Azaka, kind of a newer one on the scene, but I mean, not that new. And it's one that I still haven't figured out exactly what it tastes like. It's grassy, but it can be tropical, um, but it's nothing like Citrine Mosaic, but often used in combo. And then Ella is one of the more floral um, Australian hops that's not as in your face as Galaxy and Dick's Secret. So this is canned August 20th. So that was less than two weeks ago. This is seven and a half percent alcohol. I haven't had any of the Powder Dreams um, installments. They do a bunch of different ones with different hops and lupulin powders. I have had their uh, Galaxy Double IPA. I can't remember what that's called right now. Um, but that one was pretty good. Didn't really nail it, but not bad. I'm not sure about what kind of malts or adjuncts they use, if they use wheat and or oats or anything. They don't really give you much info. Head looks okay, not the best. It's got, yeah, mostly bigger bubbles. Probably not gonna stick around that long, but at least it does have a little head. And it's right on the edge of murky. Ooh, whoa. That smells like a Belgian IPA. Interesting. Really kind of bubblegummy. <sighs> yeah, very interesting. I've been <clears throat> drinking a lot of Treehouse beers lately, and those ones have a pretty expressive yeast character, but it's not like this. It doesn't have, this smells like bubblegum. <sighs> wow. Hmm, I wonder if that's a mess up or anything, or if this is how it usually is, or if somehow these hops are kind of creating that, because I'm just, I'm just getting bubblegum. It smells like, you know, when I used to really like Belgian IPAs, like Rage and Bitch, and um, Stone's Cali Belgique. I don't even know if they make that anymore. There's, there's some citrusy tropical notes in there, but it's really overwhelmed by the yeast. Hmm. Similar flavors, this is odd. I don't remember their other hazy double IPA being like this. And the mouth feels like not very full. It's seven and a half percent. It's kind of sultry and a, has a little bit of a bite to it, but sweet. I don't know, this one's not doing it for me. Yeah, it's interesting. I feel like they've been doing this for so long you think they would have figured it out. Maybe this is just a bad batch. But uh, you know, it's, it's, it's pretty spicy, like it's pretty phenolic. It really seems like they used a be straight up Belgian yeast in this. I don't know if I'm a huge, no, I don't know if I'm a huge fan. And I think this is also made at their new brewery in Elmsford, New York is what it says here. So maybe they haven't really figured out how to do all the processes of that brewery or something. But this one, I'm already saying it. You should pass on it. It's not like it's a disgusting beer. Like maybe two years ago, if I had something like this, I wouldn't, you know, be poo-pooing it so quickly. I mean, there's plenty of people out there who might like this one. I like. I was interested in the hop combo, honestly. But the feel and the overwhelming yeast character is just making it something that it's it's not. Like it's this is not an any any IPA I would say, unless you advertise it as like oh we're using Belgian yeast, so I'm just gonna end it here. This is yeah, this deserves like a three or something. That's it. Bye.